Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Reapyron and today we're going to be doing some more Killing Floor 2. This is our next video in the How to Beat Hell on Earth guide uh, for each of the classes. And right now we're going to be talking about Commando. And Commando is going to be one of the more difficult classes to beat Hell on Earth with if you're playing solo. If you're playing multiplayer, it might not be. It depends on the team comp then, because Commando is a great supporting class. However, as a solo class, they are kind of lacking compared to other classes that have either more tankiness, more mobility, or just higher damaging weapons. So right now, the build that I'm running with Commando for solo is going to be high capacity magazines, although at level 5 you can pick either of these, they're both good. Um, it's just whichever one you enjoy more. We're going to take fallback, that way we get more damage with our 9mm and our knife, plus the weapon switch speed is really nice to have. Tenacity, just so that we can stay alive longer and we get an additional 25% armor at the start of a match. And then hollow point rounds so that we get more damage. Um, if I was at level 25, I'd also go with Machine Gunner for solo. In multiplayer, I'd probably switch over to Tactician. And in multiplayer, I may switch to some of these other skills, like Prepared and uh, Impact Rounds, depending on what the team comp is. If I still want to stay alive more, I'll still take Tenacity over Prepared. And I don't find Impact Rounds all that useful. I like the weapons switch speed much more from fallback even if I'm not planning on using the 9mm. So let's begin. For this I will be playing 4 rounds Hell on Earth on the Spillway. 4 rounds just because it's convenient and Spillway because it is probably one of the easiest maps to beat which is a good thing for Commando because we're gonna need some help with this. Okay here we are. I'm back. Killing Floor kind of died there for a second. So our starting weapon is the AR-15 which the AR-15 is one of the worst starting weapons. I'll just say that right away for um, Killing Floor. But it is good enough to kill small enemies, and that's what we really needed to do. So, just aim for the head. I have this set to single fire because I pretty much never use the burst fire on it. Burst fire, I just find a little bit awkward. The semi auto is a little bit easier if you can hit headshots. Even if you can't hit headshots, it still is usually more ammo efficient. Just because you're more likely to be able to hit. And the sights on this thing are not the best. They're okay if you're just quickly going between targets, but they're nowhere near as good as like a red dot or something would be. So pick off all these things, and then if we run out of bullets with the Air 15, which is perfectly fine, we'll use the 9mm because it's honestly usually a better weapon anyway. It doesn't look like we will though. Looks like we have enough. In Spillway, we pretty much want to go to this spot, because this just makes it so we can fall down in any direction if we need to. And Spillway's great for looping around. I talked about this in the Berserker video, it's always good to have a path to loop around in in the maps. Even if it's a small loop, it can still be very useful, just because it will give you a little bit of space. Alright, wave one down. We now have enough to get a weapon. Um, now the problem with Commando is that they have a really awful tier 1 weapon. And their tier 2 options are honestly not way great either. I usually go with the Tommy Gun, just because you get more bullets out of it. It's a little bit better that way. But the Bullpup is also a pretty decent option. It does scale better, so if you plan on keeping it longer, Bullpup's probably the way to go. But if you do have the money, I'm going to go right for the M16. For this, I'm going to be using the M16 and probably the FAL. These two weapons are really strong on Commando right now. Uh, well, they kind of always have been. And uh, if this was a multiplayer setting though, I would probably go with the FAL and the 401 Medic Assault Rifle. You could also go with the M16 and the 401 or the M16 and the 501. Um, especially if you don't have a medic on the team, that will really help out your team quite a bit. The, both the medic rifles do enough damage per shot for you to kill any of the small enemies quickly. And even the uh, medium enemies pretty fast. The M16 is usually a better weapon than them though, because you do have the grenade launcher. And it's a just a great weapon overall because it has so low recoil, even if you're not high leveled with Commando. Because Commando does get um, passive recoil reduction. But that's not too big a deal for us. This, again, I just aim for the head most of the time. Uh, body shots of the M16 work, though, too. You can kill most of the enemies pretty fast if you're just kind of spraying. And like I said, low recoil makes it pretty easy to keep on target. Then I use the grenade for any sort of groups uh, or large zeds. Not so much for uh, Skrakes. The Skrakes are pretty resistant towards explosives. But against those type of groups, we're definitely going to want to kill them. Alright, I'm abandoning my position because uh, it's going to be a little bit easier to run around this direction. 
get rid of the bloke. Um, again, I talked about this in the Berserker video, but if you didn't see that, uh, whenever you're running to a position, make sure you're actually looking in the direction you want to run, and be sure to only turn around if you know you have space to actually turn and shoot them, and then kill any enemies that are directly in front of you. Because it's very easy for you to be running backwards and then crawlers or stalkers get in your way. And you can die very easily from that. Once you do have the room though, feel free to turn back around and start shooting them. With Commando it's even easier to tell if there's stalkers nearby, with every other class not as much. There we go. We only have one grenade left, but that's okay. We still got our 9mm, and we're still running fallback. I would recommend using fallback up until you have at least two weapons. <laughs> Simply because if you do run out of ammo with your primary weapon, you have a pretty good secondary to fall back on. Let's get you restocked. Alright, and your grenades are useful, but be careful with them because they can blow you up. Now I'm going to get me the FAL. And I'm going to buy ammo for it, and then I'm going to be using both these weapons for this next round. Uh, the M16, I'm probably going to hold on to the grenades for flesh pounds, but the FAL I can use on pretty much everything else, and the M16 I'll probably use early on. You mostly want to use the FAL to either be sniping with at a distance, kill uh, small zeds with just body shots or with headshots from a distance, or you switch it to full auto to kill large zeds. Usually I set it to full auto the whole time. Uh, but either way works depending on how you like to use it. Oh, there's ammo over there. I could have grabbed that. Whoops. Oh, there's some right there. Always be looking out for ammo too. That will really help you. Okay, get rid of them. Reload our guns when we have downtime. So if there's no enemies like directly threatening you, feel free to reload gonna help out the team a whole lot more rather than you just having a partial magazine in your gun but if things are really pouring in then you know run it until the gun is empty pretty much all right Scrake. great it's great won't be hard since we have the uh, FAL flesh pound also shouldn't give us too much trouble because we have both the FAL and the uh, grenade from the M16 in multiplayer, I wouldn't recommend you be trying to kill Scrakes and Flesh Pounds as soon as they show up. Um, unless multiple teammates are already trying to focus them. Oh, there we go. Got all that. Use the FAL to kind of clear our way a little bit. And use the M16 a bit more. Oh, whoop. Ooh, that actually really hurt. Down you go. Okay. Just keep on running. We're going to try to not be killed by any of these Zeds, but no real guarantee. Um, if you find yourself getting beat up pretty often, it might be a good idea for you to take the uh, 501 Medic Assault Rifle. Since it has the healing grenades, and the healing grenades can save your life and can kill any of the small zeds very easily. Whoops. I shot over that guy's head quite a few times. I hit somebody else behind him. Whoops. Alright, well, it looks like we've gotten the worst out of the way. Oh, wait, we got another Scrake. Alright. You can kill Scrakes fairly fast, at least in solo. Alright, now I'm going to upgrade the FAL once. I don't really need to upgrade the M16 at all. It's good enough where it's at. Um, I think I actually managed to get... Huh, we actually managed to get just enough ammo and be left at zero dollars. That's a little bit weird. Alright, next round. Um... The fourth round, or ninth or tenth round, or I guess the seventh round, can be the most difficult depending on which one you're playing on as Commando because this is when Flesh Pounds can start spawning in multiple. So you can get, I think, up to three or four at a time, which Commando has a hard time dealing with that many Flesh Pounds that quickly. Your grenades can help. The M16 grenade launcher can help and the uh, FAL can help, but there is a limit. Okay, 
get rid of these. Oh, wow. Okay. Take care of him. You just set this to semi-auto and pick off all these. Alright, now we've got quarter pounds showing up. gonna keep backing up and keep shooting these guys one at a time gonna be trying to aim for the head but if you can't hit them in the head consistently body shots are better than missing all right and as you can see we ran through our FAL pretty quick there so over to the M16 which will do enough of our damage and if enemies are getting close like that there's also not really a whole lot of incentive to go for the head just hit them where you can Some of the little crawlers are actually getting in the way. Okay. All right, we're gonna circle on up here. And then we're gonna drop down. Unfortunately, we landed on a bloat, which is not good. And a siren. That. That is unfortunate, and it can happen, but <laughs> try to shoot for whatever's in front of you and try to ignore everything else. Hmm. Also, uh, some people have asked me why I jump when there's crawlers nearby. Uh, if you jump and you land on top of the crawler, then it will bounce you over and it'll stop the crawler from attacking you. So it's just kind of handy. It more It's more consistent when the crawler's coming directly at you. Um, that way you can actually hop on top of them. If you're not, then um, it's just kind of random if it works or not. Okay. Looks like we took care of this. Luckily, we didn't get any full-size flesh pounds. Which is a little bit weird. We got quarter pounds, but no full-sized ones. All right. I'm going to keep the same loadout for boss wave, although, like I said, you could switch over to something like the Medic 501 Assault Rifle. That way you could heal yourself with healing grenades. Um, that is useful. Oh, also for these, I'm going to be recommending loadouts that everybody can buy, so I'm not going to be recommending DLC weapons. Commando just has the two, the FAMAS and the minigun, and honestly, they're both pretty underwhelming in my opinion. Uh, the minigun just is too heavy and too slow to be useful, and then the uh, FAMAS is just kind of awkward for me. It's not a terrible weapon, but it's just awkward. Alright, on to boss wave, see which boss we get, and we'll see how difficult this is going to be. Hans, okay. Hans can be really difficult, he can also be fairly easy. Um... Unfortunately, we don't have any extra mobility weapons, and we don't have any fire, which is good against Hans. So if you're playing Firebug, if you're playing support, um, at least with certain weapons, demo with the Kaboom Stick, that can be real useful. If I have grenades at him from a distance, try to hit him in the head as much as possible. Unfortunately, us being able to see invisible things is not really going to help all that much with Hans. And with him shooting us, this is actually kind of annoying. Be better if he was just trying to rush us. Alright, we got him to his first shield, which is good. Alright. Okay. We did enough damage per second there to Hans. And extending Z time here can be really good in Just multiplayer. In solo, not so much. Hey, you're a husk. Where did you go? <laughs> yeah, it's really bad if Hans is allowed to get close to us. We've already lost all of our armor. Okay, hang on. Reload the M16. And we're going to keep running from Hans. Okay, <laughs> that was close. He could have got grabbed us there. Okay. 
Heal up and get up here. Okay, the FAL has enough damage to actually break his shield. In multiplayer, there'd be no way it would. But then hopefully you have teammates actively hitting him. That husk shot kind of messed me up there. I think it bounced me into a grenade too. But we did manage to beat him, which is good. His body's still kind of twitching out. Um, usually with Hans, I find it better to just keep both your guns uh, loaded and then just keep emptying them into him as fast as you can. That's usually what helps break his shields. Um, that one wasn't too bad. Spillway's a really good map though, and I do have my commando fairly high. Um, next time we're going to be looking at a different class. I'm not sure which one, maybe survivalist or something. Okay, well it seems like Killing Floor crashed again, maybe. I don't know. So thank you everybody for coming. If you have any other comments or any other questions, be sure to leave them down in the comments below. I will be sure to answer them. Uh, thanks everybody for watching this. If you're new here and you haven't already, be sure that you get subscribed. That way you get notifications whenever I post these videos. Special thanks to my supporters. These are all of my members and Patreon supporters over on Patreon uh, and my members over here on YouTube. If you would like to be a part of that and get extra rewards like early access to some of these videos, be sure to check that out in the uh, description below this video. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Till then, stay cool. Bye.